Some parts are better left as byproducts. If they know they're going to spend $10, $12, $15 for a steak, they don't want a piece of shoe leather. Art Wagner, vice president of cattle procurement for National Beef Packing, is both a cattle buyer and beef seller. Being on that bridge lends a good perspective to what consumers want. They know that the price is higher than it was five and ten years ago, but the quality they expect equates to the dollars they're spending for that meal. And that's just more important than ever today when, when they're looking at how much they're spending for the meal, that they're getting a quality eating experience. National Beef's Liberal Kansas plant was the first large processor to unlock the power of the certified Angus beef brand in its lineup. And Wagner said they haven't looked back since. I think through, through our using CAB as kind of the foundation for the branded side and continued to allow us to grow in the value added program to be more aggressive on, on purchasing Angus cattle communicating with producers to produce better Angus cattle and knowing that National Beef is a, uh, an active buyer looking for high quality Angus cattle. It's provided the ability for us to grow as a company across all of our Angus lines but at the same time grow in the CAB arena as well. CAB marketed more than 60 million pounds of product every month in fiscal 2013. Its network of 16,000 licensed partners worldwide sold 865 million pounds for the year that ended September 30th, an increase of 6.7 percent, or 54 million pounds. And Wagner says he doesn't see that demand slowing down anytime soon on either side of the equation. We value the Angus breed as a key part of our business strategy and business plan and uh, we've seen tremendous growth in the past several years and anticipate continued growth in the future. I'm BJ Scott.